Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be answering an email on how to get Worship Extreme to work with XSplit. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I knew we were gonna get to this <laughs> point anyway. We're going through all the software um, application that you can use to live stream. And I have an email from Christopher Williams and he sent me an email saying, hello AJ, I recently came across your YouTube tutorial you did for Worship Extreme and I had a question for you. I've been a part of my church's media ministry for a little under a year and my pastor asked if I would do some research on scripture presentation software. During my research, I came across Worship Extreme and planning to try it out. We currently have live have a live stream and we use a program called XSplit to broadcast. Would you happen to know if Worship Extreme is able to be integrated with streaming software so I could display scriptures on the stream? I noticed that the tutorial video, your slide mentioned your church's live stream, so I thought I'd ask. Not sure if you've already addressed it, in another video but uh any help would be greatly appreciated thank you god bless chris williams from first baptist church of melrose park well chris i actually have talked about um different platforms to live stream but i never did this and hey you asked so that's what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and cut over to the computer so we got worship extreme up here right now and what we're gonna do is first make sure we got everything set up. I am on my main system right now. So this is actually monitor number two that you're looking at right now. This is what's gonna actually display stuff. Now, there are two ways that we can do this. Again, we can do full screen or lower thirds. Um, I'm not gonna go into how to do that, but there's other videos I'll tag up here on how to do lower thirds. I would invite you to check out another video that I will tag up here so that you can know how to do that. And let's go ahead and make sure we got everything set up. So I'm gonna just grab, have this one? Yeah, we'll do this. So this is using a lower third type of layout. So it's just text, no color, nothing behind. And, but what I'm gonna do is actually change it to green. I think that will be easier for right now. And then, I'm also going to add another scripture in here and let's go to let's the 23rd Psalm. All right. And then we're going to use full screen. And with this one, I will use this recent motion graphic that's available when you have the paid plan of Worship Extreme. All right, so let's drag this over. And if we launch, start with the full screen one and display it, as you can see, this is how everything would go. Very straightforward. If we go to the other one, as you can see, I'm using solid green, which will make it easier for us to erase this when we get into XSplit. So we have those two options. So let me turn this off now. Now let's bring up XSplit. Now I recently installed this. I used XSplit a long time ago. Um, I currently don't use it. So this is new <laughs> for me, the newer version of it. So similar to OBS, you can make scenes. I'm only gonna do two scenes with this one. So with this scene, let's first bring in my my A10 Mini, that's what I'm gonna be using. So, right there. And that's, now you're seeing the echo, I mean, <laughs> over and over again here. So let's go ahead and resize this. All right, and let me get rid of my picture in picture to make it a little bit easier. All right, so, and maybe I should have saved that for last to make it easier. All right, so I'm just gonna turn that off right now. And then I'm also gonna add a screen capture here. 
monitor capture number two, which is right here. And let's resize this full screen. All right. All right, so we got this. So I need to move this over to another screen. And if we bring up the full screen text, as you see right here, this is what's going on in the program right now. And if we bring up XSplit, there you go. And now you can make this as a separate scene. And let me switch this back so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, so you can make this as a separate scene, just like OBS, so this would be full screen. And because you can actually see the scenes right here, we have the desktop in front, then Blackmagic, the A10 Mini, so you can hear. So works very simple that way. I mean, because you're just using this to take a full screen, you make that a scene to where that's the only thing, and then you go. Now let's make another scene, which actually technically you really don't have to do, but I would do it this way if you're using the chroma key. So let's make another scene here and we're gonna come and do the exact same thing. We're gonna come in here, add the screen capture like we did before, monitor number two. Let's resize this. I'm gonna add the HM Mini behind it. Resize it now, let's put it under it. All right, so now if we come here to our scene, let's see. All right, so on the color, we have chroma key and we have it set to green. All right, so now let's go back to Worship Extreme. We're gonna switch over to our green screen one. And now let's minimize this and let's see what it looks like. And boom, there you go. Scripture is there at the bottom worked with XSplit. Now, again, I would do it this way as a separate scene because that way you can always, you don't have to go turn on chroma key and every time you do this, you can just go to a different scene. And, you know, obviously if you still had the green one on, you would see something like this, but we're using full screen like this and you can see, hey, everything is cool. So that's honestly pretty straightforward that's really all you need to actually do this so hopefully um, Chris that answers your question and I like doing this as multiple scenes it makes it a lot easier to do but again you can do it whichever way and honestly all of these softwares work pretty much the exact same way it's whichever one that you're comfortable with again I've worked with a bunch of them I use XSplit from the very beginning I just never stuck with it um, but it doesn't matter if they're streaming any type of game whatever any of them work you just pick whichever one that you're comfortable with but thankfully because of screen capture and chroma keying it will work no matter which way you do it so there we showed you how to do lower thirds as well as use one to take up full screen and we were using the capture device the entire time so you would still be able to hear whoever was talking no matter what, what was up the entire time so hopefully that answered your question and that's about it so if you have any other questions for me um, hit me up in my email here below Send, leave a comment um, hit me up anywhere on social media under AJ the CEO and I will try to get back to you as best as I can we're starting to get about like 15 to 20 <laughs> requests a day so I'm only one person so I can't keep up with that so if you sent me something and I haven't got to it it's not because I'm picking on you it's just you got a bunch of people that we're trying to help so we're gonna work our way to it as best as we possibly can so anyway, if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.